hii inchi ni inchi inaendereshwa na katiba na sheria na mambo ya kuabudu sisi tuko huru kuabudu kulingana na vile sisi biblia inatuambia na kwa hivyo nilikuwa nataka kusema hivyo kwa sababu ikiwa mambo ya mkristo mmoja akipatikana kwa na shida mwili wote wa kristo unajumulishwa na kuambiwa kila mtu ako na shida au yeye ni, ni muarifu sisi hakuna kitu cha mtu tumearibu lakini uweze kwenda kuchukua wakristo wa, wa wote wa kathre kuseme wote ni waharifu na ni wauaji ni vile tu mnasikia saa ingine kuna terrorists na hawa terrorists wametoka katika dhehebu moja au mtu amejitokezea extremist wa muslim lakini uweze kuchukua ujumulishe waislamu wote na kusema waislamu wote ni terrorist. Na hiyo tukianza mambo kama ya hayo yanaweza kuleta shida sana katika inchi. Na kama kuna muharifu, sisi tunasema kama Paul Mackenzie ako na shida na mepatikana, huyo ni Paul Mackenzie. Hata mama yake asiingizwe kwa hiyo hata baba yake na familia yake haiko hapo na kanisa la Bwana liachiliwe kwa sababu uwezi kuchukua mtu mmoja na kwa sababu ulikuwa na mambo yako unaingiza maneno unaanza kusema sijui makanisa ilifanya Paul Mackenzie sio kanisa yeye hata anasema si pastor ye ni mister so we treat him as he is a criminal is a criminal a terrorist is a terrorist na tunjue katika haya maneno na ndio nasema lazima tuyaongee kwa sababu tusipoongea watu watachukulia ati sisi tunasema sisi wa Kristo ni waharifu kuna wa Kristo bilioni mingi katika hii dunia na hii o hawa wa Kristo uwezi kuwajumulisha na kusema hawa wote ni criminals kwa hivyo tuende katika mali vile katiba imetuwekea we have a law where when somebody is a criminal the procedure how it's supposed to be done but we cannot stand there and say because one christian has been caught in a certain compromising position so the whole body of christ must be condemned no we must stop that because it is not right criminal is a criminal a terrorist is a terrorist a murderer is a murderer just take the murderer let them go through the law and let them be prosecuted and let us know where what they did if they are guilty they are put behind the bars but you cannot condemn every christian in the whole world we have three billion christians you cannot ram them and call the body of christians thieves or whatever it is and if you have to apply law it must be fair to all religions and that must be the way we do it